So I'm waiting on my client um, to uh, come in for a six o'clock session. <laughs> Not sure if he's gonna show up. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a video and just kind of talk to you guys about this new series that I'm doing with Marie Parnell on trauma-based truth. You know, the identity that we've created unconsciously because of hurt, pain, rejection, and abuse. Um, the, the things that happen to us throughout life um, have a subtle and, and over impact on us. And I think because our society is always in such a rush to do whatever, we don't take the time to really appropriately heal. This is why I'm so excited about this series I'm doing with Marie. And it is just unlocking more and more doors in my mind on my own trauma that I need to address and take a look at. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about today is how does trauma impact intimacy? You know, um, And I'm not just talking about the intimacy in the bedroom between a man and a woman or even romantic intimacy. Talking about the intimacy of connecting with another human being, you know. Um, often, when I see someone have um, better relationships with their with their dog or their cat than they are than they do with people, it, it's kind of a, a, a clue that there might be some trauma within their past. And I'm not saying that about everybody. I'm just saying that you know when I run into somebody that has an easier time with, uh, you know, Fido <laughs> than with their mother, father, brother, or sister, there is unresolved trauma in their background, which has prevented or disabled the ability to be vulnerable and intimate. And that's all intimacy is, is our ability to be vulnerable with another human being. And when we've been hurt, when we've been, uh, you know, backstabbed and heartbroken and betrayed, you know, those impacts leave damage on our soul, you know, on, on our core. And we have to address that. We have to address it because it will jack up every relationship from that point on to the point where we will develop relationships, but all the relationships we develop are superficial. Um, and, and, and they lack, um, and I hate using the word accountability, um, and they lack authenticity, you know, and the authenticity comes in with our ability to be vulnerable. Excuse me, and I'm not talking with everybody because not everybody's safe, you know, which is gonna be another topic. Because of trauma, we can't recognize safe spaces, in fact, when something looks safe, we will avoid it because it looks like a trap. So we can't even enjoy safe spaces because we never feel safe. And relationships, good, healthy, loving relationships is all about safe spaces. You know? Can I recognize it? And can I, can I participate? in the creation of a safe space with another person. You know? And, man, I look at myself and, you know, my goal, I mean, as a counselor and as a man, you know, I look at all the, the close relationships I have and I'm so blessed by them. But I also have to acknowledge that I have participated in creating safe environments with my friends and my new friends that I'm, 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 I'm creating, I'm, I'm uh, adopting, <laughs> you know, and, and a lot of us don't seem to understand the components to, and the necessity to creating these healthy environments with other human beings, you know, I mean, the, this to me, it's all about relationships. It's all about relationships if I'm going to overcome past trauma, you know. Um, it's all about 
understanding safe spaces and being able to be in a safe space and not freak out. You know, um, you know, so often I see people uh, sabotage a good relationship because it's it's like an alien lifestyle to them, and because it's so alien, they freak out and panic and will sabotage it. But that's where the healing is. You know, it's in the honest, authentic compassion and, 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 and love and accountability in people who love you enough to not let you want to walk off that ledge, you know, to not let you make the same mistakes over and over again, to say, hey, yo, man, I, I, I appreciate you know, everything you're doing, but I need you to let me handle this one on my own, you know, and, 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 and to be able to apologize when we disappoint each other. You know, having a safe space with another human being isn't about the perfection, it's about the grace and, and the acknowledgement of our feelings and, 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 and that's how we grow together. It's not that it's, it's, it's two people who do everything right, it's two people who understand everything that's not right and can work through it together. So that's just my little, little uh, sidebar on uh, the impact of trauma on our lives. If you want to know more, if you want to see more, tune in to uh, my uh, YouTube page where I'm talking about the movie for now. Um, who does the uh, walk in the morning? Um, you know, which is phenomenal for the ladies. You know, tune in and look in, into our Deep Waters series. It is phenomenal and it is continues to grow and it amazes even me so i love you guys i'll talk to you later